I'll do it. You know, another thing about our interest and hobbies and passion that we have for stuff very deeply as neurodivergence is relationships with people. I've been in a bunch of relationships and stuff, and one thing my partner could always tell when something was up because the passion would begin to lessen. It would go from level 1000 to 100 because they would be my hyper focus, they would be my special interest. I would treat them like they're the center of my universe. Of course, I had other stuff going on. I had car clubs, friends, I had motorcycling, I had a bunch of other stuff going on at the same time and stuff. So it wasn't like they were my center of the universe, but they'd feel that way because I had so much passion. So even when I wouldn't know that something's going on inside of my head, they would feel it because that energy would start to wane and disappear. So after the last over the last few years, Years, I started to have passion for relationships that was long lasting, you know, and I never had that before. I never had that where I could have that passion where not only is it long lasting, but it grows from level 1,000 to 1,500 to 2,000 to 2,500 to 5,000. It even gets more and more and more. I never had that. So after learning these things about who I am as a neurodivergent, learning about AUDHD, learning those things, I'm starting to see how being dysregulated really affected those relationships and stuff. And now I'm in a much better place. I'm able to love people for years and years and years with a passion, a fire and intensity that I never had before. So we'll talk about something different next week. I hope you have an awesome Friday. Have an awesome weekend. You are an awesome, amazing human being. And I love you so much. Peace out. and Bye.